Hi there, Good Curve here with a brand new Unity video tutorial. In the previous video I showed how to create a Unity macOS build ready for Steam distribution. In this video I will briefly outline creating a build for iOS. Right off the bat I can tell you that is much easier than creating a macOS build. There are a few things you need to know up front though. You will need an Apple developer subscription in order to publish an iOS game. It is much easier to create an iOS build using Unity and Xcode on a Mac. A question asked before in one of the video comments, is it possible to use Steam features on iOS? It is not. Steam is not available for mobile devices other than the app which you can use as a multi-factor authentication solution. The Steamworks portal mentions that builds are limited to Windows, Mac and Linux. Ok, back to creating a build in iOS. The first step is to select the iOS build target in the build settings. Also update some of the project and player settings while you are preparing your project in Unity. Select a project version number. Check if you want to allow screen rotation when the user rotates the device. Add icons for the app. Technically you do not need to include any special assets. However, I concluded that using a touch input package from the asset store can make life considerably easier. I selected Carlos Wilkes Lean Touch for this. There are other packages on the asset store, however this is from a developer who created other high quality assets I used before, so it was a no brainer to select it. Just for the fun of it, I also included some code which uses the geolocation feature available in mobile builds. This could be useful for games or apps like Ingress, where you want to have your map overlay a real world map. I will show you the code later in the video. Once you have created the build in Unity, you can open the Xcode project file in Xcode and this time you will only need to make, a make some small adjustments in the project settings. Unlike the situation for macOS where I needed to figure out lots of settings. Select the game type, select automatically manage signing and then select your developer certificate. Once you made the updates you can build the game in Xcode and then deploy it using the archive menu option.
For testing, you can use a test flight deployment. In the Apple App Portal, you can invite other people to test your app. They only need to accept the invitation and install the Apple Test Flight app. Any new build will appear automatically in the app and can be downloaded and tested for 90 days. I can also recommend to increase the version number of your build in Unity immediately after completing a cycle. The Apple App Portal and Test Flight do use this internal version number, so sticking with the same number between builds can cause confusion. Okay, that's all for today. I will return to work on another video in the Unity and Networking series. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up.